Hello, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Emerson. Um, we don't have any uh, fancy title graphics or uh, editing skills or anything, but uh, we're going to start doing uh, reviews or um, just thoughts on uh, different uh, soda pops. We call them in Michigan pop, but um, uh, a lot of people call them soda. Uh, or in the south they call it coke everything no matter what it is can i have a what do they call coca-cola can i have a coke yeah what kind do you want pepsi that's what they'll do yeah anyway um the first one we have here is uh flathead lake uh gourmet soda this is Try huckleberry yeah this is huckleberry and that um i, I looked up it is apparently the first why is it getting darker when the more I put the light in? Um, this is the first flavor that they had. Um, they also have uh, wild white grape, sour cherry, granny apple, black raspberry, blueberry pomegranate, strawberry. Orange. Strawberry and orange. That's is the same stra soda. There's no. Uh, there's no. Yeah. So strawberry yeah, orange. Same. Yeah, strawberry yeah. orange. Yeah. Um, a lot of these more unique sodas um, I like are like hyper localized and uh, this appears to be uh, very popular in Montana uh, where they originated from um, the interesting thing about it is you got this um, little monster on it and I guess Flathead Lake is a lake in Montana where this uh, um, company is from and uh, the lake is said to have a monster in it um the so here's the wikipedia story on this monster uh the story of a monster in flathead lake originates in the kootenai traditional legend according to the story long ago the first native tribe in the area lived on an island in the middle of the lake one winter while crossing the frozen lake to move camp Two girls saw antlers approximately two feet in length protruding through the frozen ice. Thinking the antlers belonged to some animal, the girls decided to chop them off and take them. They used sharp edged rocks to cut through the ice when the antlers suddenly started shaking. The ice around them split open and the head of a monster appeared through the ice shaking its giant antlers. This this is where it gets really interesting because apparently Native Ameri this Native American tribe has special powers. The girls used their special powers to transform into a ball and a buckskin target to escape the monster. What do you suppose a buckskin target? It's just a, a deer hide with a target on it? I, I don't guess, understand. I think it's like they put some sticks up and then like stretch the skin across and paint the target on it and they use and so it they're in the, so they're in the middle of the lake and one of them transforms into a stand with a arrow target on it yeah. and just just sits there in the middle of the lake and hopes the monster doesn't want to eat this target thing <laughs> i guess it's, so it's um it's an know. interesting strategy the ball makes more sense i yes. guess she could turn into a ball and just sort of roll away roll away without being uh, noticed. I don't know if that would be the fastest escape, but... But it's harder to notice. It's, it's better than a buckskin target. Yeah. Um, but then it says, but half of the tribe drowned in the lake, which is said to be the reason why there are so few Kootenai people. So, uh, why do these girls have special powers, but the rest of the tribe doesn't? And, and why were the girls the only two ones out in the middle of the lake, but then I no. guess the monster just like raged and went and drowned the rest of the people i think they were all together but the girls noticed the antlers a little like the people are over here girls notice the antlers over here go to chop them off monster comes goes over there uh, I, I guess <laughs> i don't know it just says two girls saw uh, anyway um drowned half of the tribe and the narrative holds that the kootenai never strayed far from the lake shore after that and white settlers later reported occasionally seeing the monster. So um, that's uh, apparently a thing in the local area. Um, 
that uh, the monster is uh, like random, like like um, what's the Loch Ness monster? Just like, a like a Loch Ness monster, yeah. bred so, with a deer. Monster it, except uh, as Emmy here pointed out when we found this story, this uh, monster on their uh, bottle doesn't have any antlers. So yeah. I guess they've strayed from that part of the legend. Um, anyway, uh, Huckleberry, Flathead Lake, Loch Ness Monster, oh, Flathead geez. Lake Monster. Can't get soda. it off, but I already like, unsealed it. That hurts my hands. Yeah. Do you know what huckleberry tastes like? No. Do <laughs> no. I don't, I don't really know what a huckleberry is. I guess it's that. Cheers. Looks like a plum. Yeah, like a tiny looks, plum, looks I like guess. Looks like a plum. Tastes like grape to me. It's like, um, it's not very strong grape. But, uh, I, I feel like there's a grape flavor there. Yeah, definitely. It's like more of a fizz. It's like water, fizzy water, um, carbonated water that doesn't taste gross, um, with a little bit of a grape aftertaste. That's what it tastes yeah, like. Yeah, it's, it's not a very strong, like, um, it tastes like a grape soda to me, but not strong at all. Mm -mm. Not like a super sugary grape soda, but like a very light hint of grape soda. Um, yeah. There's not a ton of flavor in it. It's uh, it's a very, very light flavor. It's just sort of an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess if you're, if you're into grape soda, uh, or not into grape soda because it's like generally, generally grape soda is super sugary and super grapey. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess if that's something that's always turned you off about grape soda, this is your alternative. Yay. Um, Huckleberry. We fixed the problem of grape soda. I don't find a problem in grape soda. I love grape soda. Me too. I like grape soda and barbecue uh, barbecue chicken pizza. You forget how to drink? Shush. Um, Shush your mouth, boy. So, yeah. Uh, you can't talk to your dad like that. <laughs> this was uh, our first episode, and and we'll see how it goes from here. We'll try to maybe do like one, one episode a week, maybe, uh, something like that. I've got a lot of um, weird, unusual sodas already waiting uh, to try. So uh, we've got, you know, a couple months worth of content. Uh, we just need to sit down and try them. Um, yeah. And then I'll, uh, you know, in the meantime, I'll keep seeking out new things. Um, you know, I like hyper-localized things like this, though. Like, everybody probably in Flathead Lake, Montana, knows about this company. But, yeah, uh, they're probably not famous a very big, there. Not a very big thing elsewhere. Not a very well-known soda elsewhere. Um, so, yeah, that's our first episode, Flathead Lake. Huckleberry soda. Got a couple other flavors. I think maybe one other flavor of this. Um, so uh, we'll do that sometime. Maybe it's just a short little episode since we've already covered the uh, the, the legend, stuff. the legend of the monster and all that. Um, also, what is this? What? It's a big purple smudge on my bottle. It's like the um, the code. Uh, code for returns or whatever. Well, mine's just a purple smudge. It mine actually nothing. has mine actually has numbers. Mine just is a purple smudge. You just got misprinted or something. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I think all pop bottles have that. Anyway. Yeah, probably. But that was our first episode. Alex and M's pop stop shop pop shop pop soda pop I'm stop. Yeah. Soda pop stop. I'm in Alex's soda pop stop. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll try to snazz it up. If you guys enjoy, subscribe and like and all that crap that all those YouTube people <laughs> say. Um, yeah, my cousin says the more people say that, the less she wants to do that. Yeah, exactly. So don't. 
I don't want you to subscribe. Uh, I just want to drink the soda. We Sorry. want you to, but don't do it if you don't want to. We've talked about this too much. It's already become dumb. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.